Understanding Auxiliary Heat versus Emergency Heat. Hello everyone, welcome to our discussion on HVAC systems. Today, we're going to delve into the topic of auxiliary heat and emergency heat, two options that you might have seen on your thermostat. If you've ever wondered when and why you should use each one, you're in the right place. What is auxiliary heat? Before we can understand when to use each option, we need to grasp what they are. So, what exactly is auxiliary heat? Well, in the simplest terms, auxiliary heat refers to a secondary heating source in your HVAC system that kicks in when the primary source can't meet the demand. This often happens when the outdoor temperature is very low and the heat pump, which is typically the primary heat source, can't extract enough heat from outside to warm your home. What is emergency heat? On the other hand, we have emergency heat. This is a manual setting you activate on your thermostat when there's a problem with your heat pump. Using this setting means you're bypassing the heat pump altogether and relying solely on your system's secondary heat source. When should I use auxiliary heat? Now, we get to the crux of the matter. When should you use each option? Well, the answer might be simpler than you think. In most cases, you don't have to do anything for auxiliary heat. Your HVAC system automatically switches to auxiliary heat when it needs to. You might notice your system running on auxiliary heat if it's particularly cold outside, or if you're trying to raise your home's temperature significantly. For example, if you've just returned from a winter vacation and your home is chilly, your system might use auxiliary heat to quickly get things comfortable again. When should I use emergency heat? Emergency heat, on the other hand, is typically a manual setting. You'd switch to this setting if your heat pump is malfunctioning or needs servicing. This allows you to keep your home warm until a professional can come and fix the problem. Remember, emergency heat is usually more expensive to run than your heat pump. So, this should only be used as a short-term solution. That's all there is to it. Knowing the difference between auxiliary and emergency heat can help you better understand your HVAC system, save energy, and maintain a comfortable home. We hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, stay warm and stay knowledgeable.